every single draft pick has to have a higher salary than the previous player. I feel like this draft is going to be very difficult because I will try to stay within the cap and I've already come up with a penalty for myself that if I do go over the cap, then I have to trade away one of my first five picks for basically nothing. I'm pretty much going to have to start at league minimum, try to find a player on an entry-level contract, and then just slightly increment from there and hope for the best. And what team will we be drafting for? It is boom! Why does this keep happening? Like, every time now, all of a sudden. We're drafting for the Montreal Canadiens. There you go. You know what? That's actually fire. Because I feel like we never get the Canadians. It's one of those teams that avoids random somehow. But not today. Do not tell me what to do. However, I will be drafting. Jabroni will not be touching my lines. Fog of War, an absolute no thank you. And I will leave... You know what? CPU trades, we're going to turn that off this time and play around. We're just leaving these two on. I'm a simple man. The Montreal Canadiens will be drafting at number 15. Here we go. 27? Uh, you know what? That might actually not be that bad. 2.6. We cannot start there. I gotta find someone making under a million without a doubt. And it looks like we aren't in much luck. Yeah. Definitely would have been better to have a higher pick. Here we go. Moritz Sider making 865k. He's got an X-Factor ability. He's 87 overall. So I am absolutely leaning towards him right now. We also got Trevor here who our next pick should be pretty close. Maybe. Yes, sir. He's still there. 925k. Don't mind if I do. Troy Terry would have been sick. But he's making 1.4, and I'm not sure I'm ready to make that jump yet. Oh, that is free real estate right there. From 925 to 950, are you serious? He's a sniper as well, right? Oh, man. Yeah. Him and Trevi Boy are going to light the lamp. Our goaltender situation is going to be interesting. Maybe should have thought of that beforehand. I'm so tempted, but I'm not going to do it. He's only making one mil, but he's not going to go for so long. There's no point. Obviously, Orlov has a lot of cap retention, and that doesn't matter to us right now because I'm simply going based on that salary field. So Dmitry Orlov at 1.275 will be our next pick. Hopefully, I still get a good goalie. What will be even more heartbreaking is if we get to the end and I'm nowhere near the cap. I just don't want to play that game right now. Yeah, I'm going to make a bit of a jump here up to Philip Heedle at 2.3 million. This is only our fifth player. Slightly concerning. Maybe. You know what? No, that might be fine. 2.75 Chandler. That's a bit of a jump, but nothing crazy. I'm going to go for it. Mackenzie Blackwood, I have seen simulate very well, and that is barely going above what we just drafted. So I think that is actually optimal. He's only 25. You know what? I think he could grow throughout the year if our team's doing well. Yep. I don't see any other choice right now. Anthony Duclair at three is very tempting. We don't have a single right winger just yet. So that is also something that needs to be tossed into the equation. He is a left wing slash right wing. He's a sniper. And he is on our team. Welcome, Anthony. Very upset with myself for not specifying that it could be the same or higher, because I just saw another $3 million player that I'd love to have, but... Nope. Cody CC. Really? Is that what we're going to right now? I do only have two defensemen. Alright. We could finally get a right winger in Connor Brown, who's making 3.6. He is a right wing two-way forward. Ooh, okay. I like that. Decent physicality. I see you, Connor. Yeah, so currently we need to one-up 3.6 million. We have 10 roster players, and we still have $60 million to work with. So I think we're doing quite well. And this is a mighty fine way to stop a big jump. I'm going for Suter. I feel like we should probably start to exponentially grow here. We still only have one right winger, so I'm going to go with Nino. Was debating on taking Shattenkirk and then Nino, but I think I'm just going to go... Straight to the right winger, who probably will get drafted soon. Mason Marchman could be a good depth player for us at 4.5 million. He is a power forward. Four-star physicality, 65 discipline. Don't know about that one, Chief. So as a result, I will instead be going with Brandon Sod, who is the same overall, making the exact same amount of money. And he has 85 discipline. We do still have some goalie options, but I don't want to leave it too long in case we get completely screwed over. So I'm going to take soup. Yeah. Campbell, 
is joining our team. We're up to 5 million now. And we will be going up to 5.25 with Martinez. Left defender. Yeah, that works. Adam Henrique's got 85 discipline, 83 face-offs. We only have three centers at the moment. Up to 5.8. Yeah, that'll work. We have 16 players with him. 32-ish million. Okay, it should work. He shoots right. You can't ask for a better pick than that right there. No deliberation. You're on our team. Brendan Gallagher, 6.5 at 81 overall. He does have 84 discipline, which honestly is kind of surprising to me. Does he not take penalties? Well, he's going to not take penalties for our team. Aha! So I noticed someone pointed this out last video, and I'm pretty far into it now, so I don't know why I haven't done this yet, but boom, there we go. So realistically, I'm going to have a defenseman on forward because I have to draft JVR, and then I have to draft OEL, who got bought out, but... I don't have any other choices. And the cap space is kind of close. Not really, but it's there. I was hoping that maybe Jonathan Taze would still be here, but no. All right, you know what? We succeeded. We stayed within the cap. Every pick went up. Our team does not look outstanding, but sometimes these are the teams that surprise you. Or we will be as bad as we look. Time to find out. I'm just really hoping that the defenseman on the fourth line does not have any issues and give us like a dash three. That's a lot to ask for, I know. Okay, who did I not draft? Beck and you. See you later. If I've done this correctly, I should only have 11 forwards and I think we are set. So let's go put the lines together. Oh dear. Okay, we take that. We absolutely take that. It is a zero. That is lovely to see. Is Nina Ryder a sniper? He is a sniper. What is Duclair? Also a sniper. So what I'm going to do is actually move Gallagher up to give this line a plus one. So we got two two-way forwards playing with a sniper. And then we've got sniper, two-way forward. So it's going to be a goal-scoring third line. That's the dream anyway, unless... No, that doesn't work. So scratch that. That also doesn't work. So scratch that as well. Defensive chemistry? That's fine. Is it good? No. But could be a lot worse. In fact, what I'm going to do is move CC up and Johnson down. That way, we get a plus two. And, you know, he's 28. He's 34. Get some younger legs. Some more ice time. We got roll all pairings anyway. You're fine. Calm down, Eric. All right? I don't want to hear it. Sniper, playmaker, two-way forwards. That first line is good as well. Yeah. Gallagher on the second line, questionable. But I think we'll make it work, hopefully. What about our goalies? Mackenzie Blackwood and Soup. Do you think they're going to split evenly? Most likely, right? I don't want to be that guy, but I'm going to be that guy. Kuzmenko gets the most points with like 65, and we do not make the playoffs. We get like 34 wins. Prove me wrong, please. Not a good start, but not a tragic start. Definitely recoverable. Three-game winning streak. Amazing. Shootout loss. We take those. Another win over the Flames. Dang, if we could have taken both in Alberta, that would have been humongous. Look at the boys go. Holy crap. Five game winning streak. Let's make it six. The Coyotes take us down, but we get a point. Come on. I really hope this team does shock me. It's not helping our case that our division looks insane right now. So it's going to be the fight of our lives. I got to trade Chandler. Well, no. Get out of here, San Jose. I do not believe what I'm witnessing right now. This is lunacy. I am going to... Keep our trading block, whatever it may be. I'm going to enter the deadline, specifically just to window browse, and I'm leaving. Hightailing it, as a matter of fact. Chandler, why? We're doing good. Don't put anyone on the block. Orlov, you're staying too. No. Morgan Riley and Hampus Lindholm are up there. Mackenzie Weger. Wow, a lot of defensemen. We've got Nurse there as well. Lindell. Tori Krug. Truba. What is this trade deadline? Get me out of here. There was not even one blockbuster trade that came out of that because nothing popped up on my screen. So what a lame time that is for the fans. You know, I'm not asking them to trade Connor McDavid or something crazy, but give us something here. You know what, CPU trades, we're going to turn that off this time and play around. We're just leaving these two on. Post trade deadline is among us. That is huge. Two wins in a row, make it three. Come on. Our team is disgusting. We are in the playoffs. Ladies and gentlemen, can we reach 50 wins? It's possible. Oh, come on. The Islanders, we lose in overtime. We were right there, though. 
I am very impressed. We finished second in the division with 105 points. The Boston Bruins got us beat by two. They had two more overtime losses. Really, I don't have words right now. And I know you do want to hear them. Third place for your Montreal Canadiens. The New Jersey Devils take the President's Trophy in convincing fashion. 55 dub steps on the year. 117 in the PTS category. They had point with Trevor Moore. He went very late. I wanted to take him because nobody else was. But the guy's making like 1.7. So I would have had to take him like third round. Anyway, they got point Moore and Robertson. Great first line. Then they got Patches, O'Reilly to no. Yeah, that checks out. Yankowski, Backlund, and the Cup Breaker. All right, Philip Hronik playing with Slavin, Gostaspar, Nudavara, McDonough, and McCabe. They have a very good defensive core. Robin Leonard and Cam Talbot. Hmm. I feel like they're just good defensively. The Boston Bruins, the team that finished just above us in the division and in the standings overall, obviously. They had Evander Kane, Malkin, and Perron on the second line. That's good. Pool party with Dvorak and Yarncrook. Don't know why I skipped over the first line, by the way. So let's... Bookend, return there. We got Nate Mack, Duchesne, and Pavel. Solid. Defensively, they look good. In net, they've got Wedgwood, Varlamov. Yeah, that checks out as well. You would literally hate to see it. You really do. The Flyers finished 23rd. They went 40-40-2. and two, And they're in the playoffs. The New York Islanders went 37-36-9. and nine, And they're in the playoffs. These teams got... Finessed. See what I mean by our division being insane though? The Atlantic, we have the Ottawa Senators above them. We have the Buffalo Sabres above them, who didn't make the playoffs either. Toronto Maple Leafs, the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, four teams from our division made the playoffs. And two teams finished above teams that made the playoffs but didn't get in. It would be the Rangers finishing last. The Jets tied them, but, you know, ro it wasn't even Rotings because they both had 27, so I don't know what the tiebreaker comes to after that. Someone told me, and I don't remember. They had Kyle Connor, Jimmy Superstar, and Boldy. That's a really good first line. Beneers with Trocek and Hathaway. Stewie and Nett? Shillington, Pionk, I have no idea why they did as bad as they did. The Winnipeg Jets had Max Domi. Playing with Andre and Uri. Okay. Kachekov in net. This team is sort of setting up for the future. They have Jake Sanderson down there as well. Okay. Fair enough. You absolute couple of beauties. Beauticians, in fact. 74 points apiece and 72. Great number. From Connor Brown. That is immaculate. Duclair, you did wonderful. 64 points and 27 tucks. Chandler, great job. Gallagher, just... Great all around. Even Moritz. 49 points. We take that. I told you he could sim well. 915 and a 252. Even Campbell did well with a 912 and 268. So both goalies held their own. Philip Gustafson had 41 dubs. He'd be at the top of the 923 save percentage. Calgary was just insane. Logan Thompson down here with a 924. 64 games played. Very impressive. A 920 from Leonard. Good stuff. Rasmus Dahlin. I feel like I drafted him recently and didn't do so hot. But he did well here. Beat out the next defenseman by 9 points. Roman Yossi down here with 66. So great year for you, Rasmus. The Art Ross and the Rocket Richard. Looks like it. Go to Pappy. He had 63 tucks on the year. Yeah, not a bad season. Most fights goes to Marcus Foligno because of course it does. Tanner Geno, he's up there as well. How can the lads do in the playoffs? It is time to find out. We got Flowrider. 9-2? That's ugly. Let's hope we can bounce back. Beautiful. Okay. Not wonderful. We are getting deleted right now. Okay. Well, it was a good run. Playoffs, not so much. Season, very proud. And it will be the Avs. Colorado going on to win the Stanley Cup. They got Nuge, Backstrom, and Fabry. Vamelka in the net. The right Glover, I believe. Latang with Spurgeon. Butcher and Barry. Yeah, they have a good team. Again, the playoff performance just wasn't there. Duclair did well, four points. And then we got three from a bunch of lads here. Two from Gallagher. I have a feeling our goalies didn't do so hot. An 892 and a 500. A 44.44 GAA. Have you ever seen something like that? Because I haven't. Attaboy, Jack. Proud of you. Defensively, there was just no production. Carell had a 918 on his playoff run. A 924 for Sorokin. 
Levi had a 933. He's only 81 overall. Devin. You got a future in front of you, kid. Imagine losing in round one when your goalie had a 947 save percentage. That is the ultimate, the epitome of I had my guy. Shabbat had 15 points through 25 playoff games, and Brent Barnes, maybe his defensive partner, most likely, had 14. Good stuff from them. Without a shadow of a doubt, your Conn Smythe winner, David Pasternak, who almost had two points a game. Ridiculous. To be fair, Eichel... Played really well. 32 points, 25 games. We got 28 points from Steven. But nothing even comes close to that. The team awards, I think we pretty much know. Yep. And individually, we already know most of these too. Well, some. Matthews gets the art. He gets the heart. Darlene with the Norris. Patty Kane gets the Lady Bing. The Calder Memorial goes to Logan Thompson. A goalie winning something. How about that? That isn't a goalie exclusive trophy. Passed it with the Consumite, no shocker there. Gus gets the Vesna, and the Jennings goes to Varlamov. I guess Shesterkin doesn't one of these go to two goalies? Am I crazy? The Bill Masterton, Goligoski on the LA Kings. And then we've got Desjardins taking home the Jack Adams. He's sure with the Selkie. And then Pappy gets the Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. He's pulling that McDavid type shift. Here is your playoff tree. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. I noticed I went into my drafts playlist because I'm running out of ideas. Gotta be honest, the well is running low. But I saw that I did the opposite and I was like, hey, haven't done this one yet. So here we are. If you did enjoy the video, if you could leave a like, that'd be great. Don't forget to leave any video draft suggestions down below as well in the comments. Um, even try these, you know, go ahead, attempt the draft. Let me know how your team shaped up compared to mine. It's always cool to see how different some people's teams are and how differently they performed as well. If you want to catch that subscribe button in the trolley tracks, head down. I'm not going to complain. The ref will turn the other cheek. I'll see you soon.